Hey everyone, welcome back to Gaming Addicts. Legends of Mushrooms here. Want to go over day two of the Reversal Showdown Servant Chess. Uh, let's get to it. So join my Discord. Information is in there. It will save you money. So this is the post by Corey. Corey's our guy. He helps us out with all the tips on this. And uh, let's uh, go through this and buy all the chess pieces that we need so it looks like i got all the blue ones right i got the looks like double ghost crab dragon cat i bought those yep okay so now the yellow ones i gotta buy for today looks like the astronaut dude and a yellow snake so there's the snake uh what else is there looks like an astronaut dude in yellow that's this guy here Okay, and now we also need, oh, my eyes are killing me. What's this? This is like some sort of sloth or something on the bottom right. And the crocodile, we need those. Okay, so crocodile and the slothy looking guy is this one. Oh, wow, my eyes are terrible. That's actually a wizard. And the fifth one is, ooh, I don't even want to guess what that is. Yeah, that's about what I would have guessed. All right, so we I guess we didn't... Oh, we, insufficient items. Uh-oh, what's going to happen with that? Do we, we need something else from the strategic supply in an hour and a half? Let's try it without... Maybe we'll win some as the round goes on and then uh, be able to buy it. So let's go into the reversal showdown. And... We looks like we have to pick our characters first. So where is the removal buttons? We go into the actual back on track. No, I guess we go, I forget how to do this. I guess we go to battle. There we go. Here's our lineup we're gonna pick. So we will keep, let's get rid of this guy. And the crab remains. The green goblin is gone. And I think this little police officer school kid, totally not what he is at all. So that looks like we got it correct. And let's add the rest here. All, all the yellows, obviously. Those are going to be pretty easy to add. And we got one extra space because we couldn't afford the other guy. So let's add this guy. We'll just throw him to the light. So we've now... Uh, We've now added the final yellow guy, and honestly, this took me probably about 20 tries to do the third stage. It was very difficult. I did really break down almost, and I was like, man, maybe I need to buy a yellow, uh, another chess piece. But I didn't. I stayed with the originals. There is one thing I learned. I went back and I read their passive skills, and that became the key, the order that you dropped them. So the first guy I had to drop was the magician because he created a clone of himself. And then I had to drop the crocodile because he had some sort of ability where his HP dropped below a certain percentage. He added HP again. So it makes sense to have him as the tank along with the clone. And then I could drop them in any other order, but the one guy I had to put last and I'll uh, go over them at the end there and then after that i just kept the other two rows busy with the two blue guys or the four blue guys two blue in each i just kept sending them over and over to the row that didn't have the main yellow targets going towards them so here i'm going to look at the chess pieces show you the order that i dropped them to defeat it and the first red dot is the first one you got to drop that magician first then you drop the crocodile second and then you drop the yellow ones in order. But the one thing is this guy right here that I'm going to circle has to go last because he has a buff that helps everybody else. Let me know how you do. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.